I think it's interesting because my design aesthetic is is um, is a real extension of my personality. It's approachable. It's fun. It's it's pretty. Um, uh, it's traditional or classic at a certain level, and very modern, and you know, and 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 uh, fresh in another point of view. Um, and it's really just kind of a really strong balance. And, you know, it's a very it's a very good balance of understanding architecture, environment, location. Um, I, I think of I think of interior design or what I do as a more cerebral thing than I think. You know, I think a lot of times people think of it as simply decorating, and I see it as really more of a an, a layer, an idea, sort of a concept of layering and and telling a story. There's a narrative. Um, to to what I do, and I generally I base it on uh, whenever it's possible on my client, you know, or the brand that we're working with, and really kind of tell their story through through their interior. So it's a, a direct um, extension of their you know of their life, their lifestyle. And so I would say I'm mine is really about personalization and authenticity, and 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 having fun. I think the designers for me that have always that uh, I think uh, David Hicks is uh, really uh, a great example of a designer that I've um, I've taken a lot of you know inspiration from Billy Baldwin, uh, Albert Hadley who I've worked for, and he did the intro to my book. He's awesome. Um, uh, there's uh, I mean I, I I have to say you know my the, I'm I'm actually you know. I'm asked the question, like, what inspires you? And I always, you know, my, my kind of, you know, my response to what inspires you is really, you know, when, I, when, when a client asks me that or, or, you know, when I'm doing a lecture and people ask me what inspires you, you know, to do television and then interior design, both commercial and residential and product, like, well, where does your inspiration come from? I always say, you know, what inspires you inspires me. And sort of the concept of that is that I'm inspired by, um, People. I mean, at the end of the day, we're designing spaces for people. When we talk about what's what good taste, at the end of the day, good taste is you know a response. It's an it's an emotion. It's a connection. And so, um, I really think at the end of the day, you know, you have to almost be inspired. Um, you have to you have to constantly be inspired. If you want to be current and you want to be really connected to what is what what makes sense, because what was tasteful a hundred years ago. Is, has nothing to do with, well, it has something to do with, but it, it's it's definitely evolved and changed. So you have to understand where things have come and, and how they've gotten here. So I would say, almost, I, I'm truly inspired by anyone uh, who's doing something that I find fascinating. Um, I would say interior designers; those are probably the three interior designers. You know, then I could probably list, you know, Philip Johnson. There's a million architects, and there's, um, and then of course there's. You know my mother, and then there's you know. So you can I, I think, I think anyone who has maybe one or two people that inspire them, probably only have one or two ideas. <laughs>